Hello travelers and welcome back to the Captain's Coast. This is episode 4 in which we will be building uh, the Maple Court uh, Mill. I already laid out the foundation here as you can see. It's going to be uh, round. I think that's the best shape for a mill. Well, as round as you can get in Minecraft really. Um, before we get started I just want to show you the town from up here. As you can see, it's been changed quite a bit since the last video I made. And the nature of Minecraft is so that um, towns like these grow really, really quickly in the course of only a couple of days. Uh, I think in the last episode, um, there weren't uh, the town wasn't here. I mean, the uh, town square wasn't here. The town wall wasn't here. And most of these buildings uh, weren't built yet. Um, let me just give you a really quick look around the town before we get started. I think that's appropriate. So you know um, how far we've come in the past couple of days and um, well so you're up to speed again. I'll just take the quick route down. Uh, my little sister will be helping me out with the uh, mill a bit. Uh, Alright, uh, this is the town square. Made it out of clean stone. Uh, there's a couple of rules. Um, I still think I'm going to add some extra. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. So I think Captain built this one, and I built the rest around it. This is the teleport from TP Tower. So when you um, come to the um, teleport tower, you can use the teleport to get over here. You'll be ending up in there. Now one of the cool things Captain did with um, the gate was he used pistons to make uh, the gate come down and the stairway pop out. So now the gate is closed. How cool is that, huh? <laughs> Alright, now it's time for me to build that mill. I don't want to stretch this out too long. I uh, like the last construction video, uh, which was of my sister's house. I'll be speeding it up using a uh, movie maker. So you won't have to sit through minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes of us placing blocks. Instead it will be uh, sped up a bit. So it's a bit shorter and uh, I'll be putting some nice royalty free music under there. So. Uh, just uh, kick back and relax and uh, enjoy the show. See you in a couple of minutes.
Okay, I'm stopping the time lapse here for a bit. This is what we've got so far, and um, let me just say, this is the coolest motherfucking meal I've ever seen. Well, it's not finished yet, but uh, it will be very soon. I just need to. I just need to add the. Uh, I'm not sure how you call those, but uh, you know what I mean. I need to call those things. I need to uh, build those wing thingies. But um, let me just say, uh, I've been improvising this whole thing and uh, I'm very proud of myself so far. <laughs> Little sister was having some trouble with her um, laptop. Well, my laptop really, but uh, you know what I mean. So she had to log out for a couple of seconds there. Uh, just now, but um, I think she's fine now. So she'll be trying to um, change this into wood. All right, let me kick it back to into time lapse because this thing is going to take a while. I'm not sure how to deal with this yet. So um, wish me luck. See you in a bit.
All right, that's the finished product right there. It looks pretty nice, but I'm going to go to sleep uh, for a bit so uh, we can see what it looks like in its full glory. Hold on, just a second. It's kind of annoying that it's uh, so that there's so little daylight. So I think I might ask uh, the server owner to um, change the settings a bit. I think it's possible to make day longer and night longer, but uh, since we can all just sleep the night away, I think it's well. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I think it's uh, beneficial for us to have the day last like. 30 minutes, that's three times what it's lasting now, it lasts only 10 minutes, which is really short, so if you want to get things done, uh, it's, well, you have to walk to and from your house to do it, because you need to sleep, well, or uh, work in the dark, which isn't exactly my idea of a good working environment. <clears throat> uh, I just need to get rid of this dirt. I uh, use dirt sometimes for projects like these because you need you need to get into places that you normally can't really get to because they're too high up like in this case but I think it uh, turned out quite nicely I had been looking at some uh, photographs of uh, mills before I started this as I sometimes do I also live near a mill so I kind of know how they look uh, I tried to capture this uh, sloping inside kind of wall. Uh, what they tend to do is they start with a broad base, like here, and then they uh, work up to a slightly uh, smaller top. And then the blades, uh, let's just call them blades, I don't really know the English term for it since I'm not a native English speaker. Um, but the blades uh, seem to be almost as long as the entire mill itself. And I, in this case, I made them eight blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, when you uh, decide to make something like this on your own server, or if you want to make this on uh, your single player world, maybe. Um, be careful not to make the same mistake I made. Uh, what you, when you make one of these blades, uh, keep in mind that they turn like that or like that, whatever. But um, so if the wood is on this side, make sure it's still on the right side of the wool. One blade on and on and on. Because I made a, a little mistake at the top there. All right. Um, well, that's all there is to it, uh, really. Um, we still need to um, get some more glass for the windows. Uh, I think it's not all done yet. Also, um, I'm still going to be making some fences going down from there. Because there is, of course, some mechanics involved. It's kind of hard to um, recreate something like that in Minecraft, but... Um, Normally there's this axle that comes from uh, the mill itself, so the blades into um, the housing. And there's all kinds of mechanics here that um, convey the power of the wind down into the bottom of the structure where it's used to uh, mill up grain into flour. Now that's kind of hard to um, make in Minecraft, so I'm just going to settle for a single line of fence going down. That will have to um, symbolize the axle coming down. I'll also make something kind of to um, resemble the um, machine that grinds the, the wheat, so the grinder. But now I'm not going to show that in this episode. I think there are two options for me now. Uh, YouTube has enabled my account to um, host videos longer than 15 minutes, so I can either decide to continue the video here and make a farm, so uh, make some, some lanes of uh, crops, which I'm probably going to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, and I'll just put that in the 
uh, time lapse as well. It's not going to take really that long. And then there's also something else I want to make. It's uh, a barn. I want to make uh, a barn with a lot of chests so we can keep the uh, grain in there. The little sister will be taking care of the farm for me, so uh, we won't have to worry about that. Uh, and she will be uh, farming the weeds whenever she can, so she'll be uh, harvesting uh, and replanting. And of course, after a couple of days, there will be loads and loads and loads of weeds, so we need a place to store that. So I figure a barn should do the trick for that. Uh, now, I think uh, this is time for me to start on that farm. I don't like that it's raining, it, it kind of limits my vision and it's also a bit loud. I hope um, it's not too loud in the video, but I guess we'll see soon enough. Alright, let me get out the seeds that we got. I also need to make a hoe. I'll make two because we're going to need a lot of harvesting. I mean, uh, hoeing. <laughs> oh. And it's not raining, that's perfect. Come on. Alright. <clears throat> I also need a bit of dirt to fill up some of the patches. Alright, I think I'll... Yeah, I think I'll uh, start with this bit. Alright, so I'm going to put this in time lapse and I'll see you guys really soon. Alright, that's the end of that. I think this will look quite nice when they're all grown. 
Um, you may have noticed that I'm using the painterly texture pack and I chose to use um, grapes instead of wheat for my well, wheat. So um, that's why it looks a little bit different than usual. I already made a little pathway over this side because there is actually a quick way down now. Uh, we used to just use the uh, well we can still use the waterfall to get down but it's not really as useful if you use it to get up. I still need to make this a little bit nicer but um, this is um, an entrance way we made from the wall uh, well yeah not the wall but the uh, the tower that a cabin made. It's pretty useful actually. That one, that one. He made that tower um, to go with um, his version of the wall which I updated. So there is the complete product. I am actually quite proud of myself. I think we uh, pull it off. This is a really good meal. Alright, that's it for this uh, video. I will probably make the next video about, well, maybe the barn, but maybe something else. Um, on my to-do list is the farm at mill and town hall, so I guess we can take this off now. I'm not really sure about the town hall, because we don't really have that much space left. Uh, we already have a, a new guy, Bowser, so uh, congratulations for picking the best server of the world. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But now uh, welcome Bowser to uh, the Captain's Coast and uh, I'm sure many more will follow. Uh, I'm just going to show my little sister's house, the finished product. She has um, been busy redecorating. Well not redecorating, decorating really. Uh, she put in some chests. There's a uh, um, uh, what's it called? Connection to the sewer. Which I'm still working on this. Um, she's also been busy upstairs. Let me just show you that before I go. And here it is. Yeah, it's a bit high, but um, hey, it works for her. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of this video. Please com comment, like, subscribe and all that shit. And if you're feeling adventurous, come over and join the server. Um, if you uh, try to whitelist on the server, um, we can just um, give you the IP and you can just walk around. Anyone can um, join the server, but you need to be whitelisted to um, build, if you know what I mean. So um, if you want, just send me a message and I'll uh, give you the IP address and you can uh, take a look around the server. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.